Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Fit Refresh. Uh, my name is Sarah Martinez. I am a health coach and weight loss specialist. I help my clients use the three pillars of health and wellness, nutrition, fitness, and motivation to find their healthy goals while still being able to enjoy the things that make them happy. I absolutely love today's topic. It is a frequently asked question that I get approached with all the time. And it is a really important way to be able to take your workouts to the next level. So today we're gonna to talk about how to burn more calories during your workout. Let's do it. All right, it's that time. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video. And of course, anytime you feel it, come on, just ask your questions, I will respond. Again, today's topic, how to burn more calories during your workouts. Uh, like I said in the beginning, you know, this is a frequently asked question that I get from current clients, but also um, I'm a group fitness instructor, so I have people asking me all the time, how can I burn more calories while I'm in class? How can I burn more calories when I hit the gym? Uh, and there are some great things that you're gonna do um, that's gonna help you get to that next level. All right, now for the million dollar question, what activity do you think is going to burn the most calories? Hmm. Give you, should I put some like Jeopardy music in the background? Not sure. Um, listen, this is a big question and this is where our minds sometimes can take over and decide things that may or may not be true for what our body really needs. Uh, so the question is, which one is gonna be more effective and bigger calorie burn? Cardio, strength, or a combo of both? Well, let's just kind of break them all down. We're going to kind of talk through these uh, through cardio and strength today um, as options for how to increase that calorie burn. But when we're talking about just which workout should I do if I want to burn the most calories, cardio can burn a lot of calories for you. If you do it the right way and you give yourself enough time doing it, it's a great way to burn a lot of calories uh, in the amount of time you give yourself to work out, right? Strength, on the other hand, same thing. You're gonna still have an opportunity to burn a lot of calories. The beautiful thing about strength training is you gain muscle mass. And with more muscle mass, you have more opportunity to burn a lot more calories. So by increasing muscle mass, you are also contributing to an opportunity to be able to burn even more calories. Um, and of course, combo of both, probably the most effective high calorie burning option. Uh, you might have heard it in the form of HIIT training, um, interval training. These types of training when you are going back and forth between cardio and strength, absolutely the best way to burn a lot of calories. So don't just lean too much on cardio or too much on strength, but really find activities where you can combine it all together. You're increasing muscle mass. You're getting the most calorie burn from your cardio. You're going back and forth so your body isn't bored, your brain isn't bored, and therefore you can get more calorie burn in your workout all right so that's where I wanted to start but let's go ahead and break this down let's touch on how you can increase your calorie burn with cardio so of course like I said combo of everything is always gonna be the best right but when you're doing cardio these are some things that you should think about first thing you're always gonna burn a lot of calories with cardio because you're gonna get your heart rate up when your heart rate gets up high, your body is now going to burn all kinds of calories to try to sustain the energy you're asking it to do. But you don't have a lot of control over what kind of calories you're burning. So you might be burning fat calories, you could be burn burning carb calories, you could be burning muscle calories right um, so there's a, a lot of different ways that your body is gonna be pulling from to give you that energy so sometimes uh, too much cardio is not always the answer so just remember that um, so another big point try to avoid static cardio so listen your body is really smart it's not just standing there doing nothing at all times right it is doing the things it needs to do to keep you alive and keep you strong. So when you're asking it to burn a lot of calories and use a lot of energy, your body kind of resists that. It's like, oh, I don't know, like I need to be able to sustain life in this person's body. So what it does is it, find ways, it finds ways to conserve calories where it can. So if you're just walking at a 2% incline at 5.0 or 5 you know, point, uh, miles per hour, your body at first is gonna burn a lot of calories because it's like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Then once it's there for enough time, it's gonna to start to learn how to 
you know, shut some systems down, burn less calories while you're doing it so that it can conserve life. So if you're doing the same kind of cardio every single time without change, the same steady static cardio, uh, you're going to find yourself not able to burn extra calories. So avoid that kind of cardio. Try to give yourself some sort of intervals to work with, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a second. Um, another great way to make sure that you are still maintaining uh, higher levels is to get a heart rate monitor. Now a heart rate monitor, uh, if you have an eye watch or you have a brand of like Polar or Garmin or one of these major brands, um, this is what we're talking about. So these programs will help give you your heart rate ranges. So what your resting heart rate is, when your body's aerobic, when it's anaerobic, and when you're at the top of your, um, in the top of your zones. So if you know where you are in your zones, you're going to be able to really push yourself uh, in a way that's going to be helpful. For example, if you are doing cardio, you want to do cardio for about 15 minutes at least, right? If you're going to start your workout off with cardio. Um, now it doesn't necessarily have to be all concentrated, but if you have a concentrated period of time, what you want to do is you want to get your heart rate up to about 80 to 90% of your max heart rate. The beautiful thing about having a heart rate monitor is you will be able to look down and it will tell you, you are 85% of your max heart rate and you'll know that you're in the right spot. You do that for a couple of minutes, literally do it for two minutes and then pull your heart rate back by slowing down and keep yourself in like the 70 range for about like a minute and a half, two minutes. So what you're doing is you're alternating a higher heart rate for two minutes and then dropping it down into a lower register for two minutes. Keeping your heart rate above that 70% though, very helpful in helping and create bigger calorie burn, but also teaching your body and your cardiovascular system on how to relax in between and lower your heart rate on your rest intervals. Was that complicated? I hope not. Uh, you can always rewind this and watch it again if you need to. Uh, let's see, the next way to really increase your calorie burn and cardio, get full body engagement going, right? So if you're going for a walk, getting your arms moving, uh, upper body moving, as well as your lower body, you're going to increase your calorie burn. The more muscles that are being used, the higher calorie burn you're going to find. Uh, so use that upper body. Or if you're on a treadmill, grab a couple light set of weights and just kind of move your arms as you're walking through on that treadmill. It's going to increase your heart rate without you having to pick up your speed um, and it's going to give you that edge and extra calorie burn. Uh, last thing, vary up your intensity. So this is kind of back on that avoid static cardio. What you want to do is you want to vary up your intensity. So maybe for one minute you're running. Maybe for one minute you slow it down and you walk a hill. Maybe you slow it down and now you're power walking on a 3% incline only. Or You know, you want to vary it up. And that's where you get the idea of interval training. The more your body is kind of adjusting to its new normal, the more calories you're going to burn, the more efficient effective cardio experience you're going to have. You could do 30 minutes of cardio with varying up your intensity that, and you can burn more calories than you would in an hour of static state cardio. All right, let's talk about strength. All right. So listen, the big, big, beautiful thing about strength, if you have more muscle mass, you are going to burn more calories just living you'd, without even working out. But to be able to increase that during your workouts, you want to make sure that you're taking the right steps to actually increase your muscle mass the right way. Let's start with a disclaimer. It's very hard to build up bulky muscle mass. It is not something that's going to happen accidentally, and it's definitely not going to happen with 10 pound weights. Okay. So right away, if you're like, oh, I don't do the strength training because um, I'm going to get bulky. Yeah, not. Especially if you are female, it is extremely hard. You have to work really hard to be able to gain that kind of muscle mass. Just always remember that because those women, they didn't accidentally look like that. Don't give yourself that much credit. All right. Uh, so one of the big keys to be able to get a really great high calorie burn in your strength training is to start with a dynamic warm up. So, you know, before you work out, you're kind of like, oh, I need to like stretch a little bit before I pick up weight. Well, what you want to do with a dynamic warm up is you're going to get a little bit more movement in your body. It might feel a little bit more cardio esque, uh, but it's a way to help get your heart rate up, start that burn process. Um, and then when you go to pick up those weights for the first time, you're ready. You're already there. You have the energy, you hyped yourself up, your heart rate up a little bit, and now you're ready to actually dig in, really gain some muscle mass and start that burn. All right. The other way to really burn the most amount of calories during your strength training, less resting. 
all right? Uh, I know that we see like in the movies, like ah, oh, five, and then they like throw their weights down and walk around and talk for 10 minutes or whatever. Um, if you wanna increase your calorie burn during strength training, do not uh, leave it behind. Cut down your rest periods to shorter rest periods. Maybe it's a minute to allow yourself to rest rather than five minutes between reps. Um, so, you know, that also might mean that you might have to pick up a little lighter weight, right? So if you're going too heavy and you burn out and you can't go again, that'll be a problem. Uh, so less resting during your workouts. Another really great way to increase calorie burn do more compound exercises. If you're like, what's a compound exercise? I'm gonna tell you. Uh, so, you know, there's sitting there and doing bicep curls. That would just be a single exercise. You're focusing just on your bicep. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's great because you get to really dig into a muscle group. However, it may not elevate your heart rate a little bit and may not help you to increase more calorie burn during your workout. So the way that you, you add on to that, you make it a compound exercise, is maybe you add a squat to a curl. So you're adding in a low body action and an upper body action, making it compound. And it's gonna help elevate your heart rate a little bit. It's gonna help keep you motivated and uh, focused and you're gonna burn more calories. So add more compound movement into your work, your, your strength workouts, and you're gonna see a huge calorie burn difference. Um, and the last one that's really important is supersets. And this kind of works into that less rest type of idea. So superset essentially is um, when you are doing a workout, you might focus on a muscle group uh, for a concentrated period of time, almost to burnout, right? But then you switch right away without much rest time into a completely different side of your body that had rest the entire time you were working that other muscle group. So one great example again for this, kind of working up that compound exercise idea. You're doing bicep curls for one minute and then hands go by your side and now you're doing squats for one minute, allowing your upper body to rest while your low body works and then allowing your low body to rest while your upper body works. So moving through supersets is a great way to allow that rest time to happen without you actually ever stopping. Then you're gonna increase that calorie burn during your strength training workouts. Another great category that I think we all uh, you know, wonder about and, and really try to understand if it is something that can help us burn more calories through the workout is what do you do pre-workout? Pre-workout is really important, right? It's gonna determine either your mindset or your actual physical well-being uh, during your workout. So let's talk about it. Uh, one of the best ways to help get yourself excited and really help to boost adrenaline is uh, to ingest some uh, caffeine in some sort, either 30 to 60 minutes prior to your workout. So I see clients come in all the time with their like coffee in hand, just about to work out. But if you really want your system to take on the full effect that caffeine can give it, you don't want to just be strolling in having it right as you're about to start your workout. Plus, it can also make your stomach feel bad. Um, 30 to 60 minutes before is when you would get the most benefit from your caffeine. It's going to enter your system. Um, it's going to help do all those things that are going to help either increase uh, metabolism, uh, push that adrenaline feeling in your body, and get you really hyped up and focused on your workout. So caffeine is probably the most effective tool. And even after many, many studies, uh, caffeine is usually a better choice than even some you know, pre-workout supplements, which we're gonna talk about here in just a moment. But um, straight black coffee, baby. Doesn't cost much, easy to make happen. Helps your workout, helps you burn more calories. Uh, let's talk about pre-workout supplements because this is always a question I get. Should I get a pre-workout? Should I do it? So essentially pre-workouts, um, these are the supplements you'd buy at the grocery store that are like, take this before your workout. Um, that's my impression of like, a, you know, get hyped commercial, right? Um, typically these are made up of a couple different elements. One of them, caffeine, <laughs> right? It's going to be have caffeine in it for sure. Second thing that's going to typically be at a pre-workout is creatine. So creatine is a really interesting uh, thing that is actually uh, derived in your muscle mass. Um, so it's it's an important element and it helps to increase muscle mass. Um, it also helps in creation of ATP, which is a high energy cell that your body uses to help you know really focus in on uh, calorie burn and exercise performance. Uh, so 
having creatine in a pre-workout, it can be very helpful to get you the maximum effort of what you're trying to do in your workouts. Um, the other element that usually pre-workouts have are some sort of carb, a carb add. So carb is a very easily digestible and quick energy source for your body. So when you have that pre-workout, those three elements really work together. Of course, some workout pre-workouts have different other stuff in it too, but those are the main elements that are gonna help really benefit a pre-workout routine if you're gonna be taking a supplement uh, to get yourself there. Uh, the other thing to think about is what kind of food you had prior to your session, right? So if you don't wanna take a pre-workout drink prior to your workout, um, having food, um, the right kind of food within 30 to 60 minutes of your workout could give you the same benefits. Having, you know, a banana and some peanut butter, something that like gives you that carb that a pre-workout would give you. Um, and then also get you some protein and some, uh, you know, elements that are really going to help push you and give you the energy you need to give more in your workout. If you try to do your workout starving without food, um, you know, you just may not have the same drive. You might burn more fat, but you may not be burning as many calories as you can because you just don't have the energy. So having food is a really great way to get you that pre-workout push so that you can burn the most calories during your workout. Next thing, pre-workout, get hyped. Get yourself in the mindset of saying, I'm gonna make this the best workout I've ever done. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna do all this core. I'm gonna do all this upper body work. Um, get yourself high. I'm gonna look amazing. I'm gonna feel great. Do what you need to do to mentally get yourself hyped for this. This is your workout. This is that hour that you can really concentrate. So the more hyped you are for it, the more you're gonna come in with that energy to keep yourself focused and keep yourself moving. Go, go, go the entire time. Um, on that same you know, note, um, it, music and motivation need to be in place before you go, right? Uh, putting together a playlist, a high energy playlist, and saying to yourself, I'm not gonna stop until this playlist is over. Um, you know, an hour of straight music that just keeps you focused. And then when it's over, it's a cue. It's like, oh wow, I did it, okay, I finished. Um, so getting that music in place, keeping that motivation strong will all help you burn more calories during your workout. That is a mental game. That is you staying in it, staying focused, and making sure that like you get the most out of the opportunity, that hour opportunity you have in front of you. Get hyped, stay motivated. You're gonna burn more calories. So here's my takeaway. It is absolutely possible to burn more calories during your workout. You've done it before. You've looked down and gone, whoa, that was a crazy workout. Remember those things that helped you got there, right? That help you get to that new level. Um, and then try to maintain or try to do it again, right? If it, if it was the music, if it was the hype before, if it was, you know, the, the push, the supersets during your workout, do those things that will help you stay on track and get the most out of your workouts. The key is to designate an hour of your day and really focus on variation, right? Get a little cardio, get a little strength, keep yourself moving, don't stop, stay hype, stay focused, and you will burn the absolute most calories you could for that hour. You will not feel like you deprived yourself. Um, the last thing I would say though is, you know, be nice to yourself because as much as we obviously want to burn the most calories possible, getting yourself to the gym is the most important thing. So remember that some calories burned is better than no calories. So if you're just having one of those days where you're like, oh God, I can't get myself to do it, um, do something, do something. Whatever calorie burn you get, it's gonna be more than you would have, right? Um, so if you have the opportunity to hype yourself and get even more burn, great. But if it's just you showing up, just show up. It makes all the difference. Well, check out my website. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful, encouraging, and will help you get hyped for your next workout. Um, of course, I will see you on our next episode. And until then, stay fit, stay healthy, stay happy.